Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today, it's not going to be about werewolves, today I'm going to be talking about spellcasters, and it's going to be a quick but easy guide on how to get death by spellcaster overload. Now, you might be wondering how to get this death, but although many people have probably already know how to get this death, for the ones who don't know though, I'm going to show you guys anyway. So first of all, it requires your sim to be a spellcaster. Uh, you'll know that your sim is a spellcaster if they have this, or if you click on your sim, and if they have the magic tab. Uh, now this has all crazy sorts of things you can do. Uh, just a side note, some perks disallow your sim to actually die from spellcaster overload. Uh, like magical, uh, renominance. Um, I believe that's how you say that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm actually right on that, but it allows you to become immortal. No matter how many times you overload, you will not be able to die. Um, this is only in the magic realm though. So you, you can still die when you're at home uh, this way. It's just at the magic realm, you're completely immortal. Um, and also, it's actually really important to note that if you have either one of the Spellcaster Charge perks, like Power Shunt or Charge Control, your Spellcaster Charge gains are increased. Or decreased, sorry. Which is this. This right here, this big little blue crystal on the top of your needs. This is what this looks like. Very similar to werewolves, because uh, if your sim is a werewolf, they will have fury instead. And fury works similar, but we're not talking about werewolves today. We're talking about spellcasters and how to get their death. Again, spellcasters and vampires have their uh, unique death. That can only happen to those types of sims. Um... And spellcasters have spellcaster overload, so uh, we're just going to show you guys real quick. Or well, I'm going to show you guys real quick. <laughs> I'm only one person, so um, obviously this requires two things. It requires your sim to be a spellcaster, and it requires you to have the Realm of Magic game pack. Uh, and like I said, it's really simple to avoid this death. Um, yeah, you don't practice magic at all, especially if you're in the overcharged state. You want to not cast any more spells, or you can use the discharge ability. That's basically how you avoid this death. So if you don't want it to happen to your sim, that's basically how you do it. You discharge. Which is a really early on perk uh, that, that you can get, which is right here. Discharge. Uh, just to remind you though, this has a very, very long cooldown. Um, and I'm talking very long. I'm talking maybe like about half a sim day. Or maybe even three quarters of a sim day. That's 18 hours. So you're stuck with out being able to use your discharge ability for 18 straight hours like that's just that's absolutely outrageous and again um this right here is implemented with the new death that came with the pack and with the spellcasters so again again it's really easy to avoid the death but again if you want to get the death it's also not that hard to accomplish just have your sim practice magic or cast spells constantly and <laughs> eventually they will die um it's really, it's really darn simple to pull this death off. I'm gonna go ahead and go like way over here. <laughs> and vampires are even more simple because you just have them stand outside and they just die. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna go over here. Seems like a perfect place to die. Why not? <laughs> it sounds weird. <laughs> that sounds weird. Perfect place to die. Yeah. Rob Rufus. Yeah, die. Yes. Uh, again, we're just going to do this constantly. Okay, and now you see that he has an inspired moodlet. That means that he's now in the charge state. Um, and it goes from inspired to tense, as you would imagine. Velo Ka. Awesome move, Aha. So again, we're just going to do this constantly until we die. Rob Rufus. Oh, and by the way, uh, he, this guy right here is going to be in the gallery. He's actually my sim name. <laughs> He's actually my name. Oh my god, is that the moon? No way you can actually see the moon. Excuse me, what? That's a giant moon. Hold on. Dude, that's a full moon, but the game says it's a, um, Wex and Gibbous moon, or Gibbous moon. 
That's not that's not a Gibson spin. That's a full moon. Like that that's a big lie. That's a, that's a very very big lie, and that's also a very big 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 moon. So like, that's also the moon is not this big. We must be like in space or something for this to be like so darn close to the moon. Like look at this. That's the moon. Are we in space right now? Let me see. Because our surrounding area looks creepy. Like, look at this. It looks like you're just looking at another dimension. I wonder how far we can take the camera down. Like, that's just... Look how far we can go down. Like, if you fall, you're dead. You're, you're gonna fall constantly. <laughs> oh, dude, this is creepy. Oh my god, it's like you're looking at a black hole. Oh, oh, this is terrible. This is terrifying. This is absolutely terrifying. Okay, let me get out of that. Uh, that's just terrifying. Um, <laughs> that is terrifying. I don't want to imagine me falling off this big place. <laughs> then again, there might be just a portal at the bottom that just teleports you back here. <laughs> that would be actually really funny. I don't know if this is correct or not, but uh, it, it's, it, it seems correct. So... As you can see, our spellcaster charge. Oh, that's our first backfire. <laughs> um, and that can happen. And looky there, that's the exact curse we was looking for. <laughs> that's something else I was gonna mention, but it's a little too late for that now. Um, spellcaster can get cursed, and this is literally the exact curse I wanted for this video. This is gonna make this video like ten times easier. <laughs> and that's uncontrollable charge. You saw from my uh, ranking video for the cult sims. Uh, if they get the curse of uncontrollable charge, every single spellcaster charge gain is increased, um, which is terrible. It makes your sim harder. Uh, it makes it harder for your sim to learn spells and stuff. Look, look, look at this next game. <laughs> what a genie! Look how much I gained from that. Did you see that? It was like right here. It was like right here. Like right here. Like where my cursor is right now is where it was. Like right here. And now it's like right here already. He might actually have a he might actually have an overload here. No, he's getting there though. He's definitely getting there. But guys, literally, this is the exact curse I was looking for. Oh God, look at that. Um. Oh, we get we're having an overload. So uh, you better prepare because this is really an anxiety issues. Um, pretty much your sim just explodes. Watch this. Oh yeah. They won't die the first time, by the way. It's just it's just a warning. Like, you, you overload the first time, and it's just like a pat on the wrist. Yeah, that's just a warning. Like, not until you do it again, anyway. Like, if you do it again, then it's game over, son. But it, it's just a pat on the wrist on the first time, because you never die the first time. It's going to be... It's going to be no more than four to five times. Like, it can't be that many times. You spe especially if you have the Curse of Uncontrollable Charge. Um, but, um, look at this. This is just terrifying. Look at this. He's literally exploding. Look at this. <laughs> Ouch. And I suppose your charge does go about down halfway when she has an overload. So, do remind you of that. Okay, and there, there you go. So it, it took a minute to load, but as you can see, uh, the spellcaster charge is back to a normal state. That doesn't take our curse away from us, though, which is just bonkers. I know. So <laughs> so. So so. Yeah. 
You smelly. You smelly. Rough Rufus. <laughs> oh, nay. But again, okay. I like the fact like if you overload the first time, it doesn't kill you. It's only more than two times, which I do appreciate. I swear I thought this was the moon. No, there's the moon. And it's actually moving, by the way. Look at that. The moon is actually moving. Look at that. The moon is actually moving. I'm sorry, game, but that's just... That's too big for the moon. I'm sorry. Uh, that That's just way too big to be the moon. Um... Look at, look at, look at the moon go down. <laughs> um, it's, it's the wrong, it has the wrong lunar phase, though. It's supposed to be a waxing Gibbs's moon. That's not a waxing Gibbs's moon, that's a full moon. I'm, I, I'm sorry, that's not, that's not, a, that's not a full moon. Okay, and it just disappeared, the moon just disappeared. It literally just disappeared. It was right here. It was right here. And this reminds me of the asteroid belt. Um, in our solar system. Oh my god. The moon just disappeared. It vanished. <laughs> oh my god. Where did the moon go? I, I, guess, I guess we'll never know. Let's just focus on kill my son, for god's sake. It should be much longer. Look, he's laughing, and his charge went up. The game really thinks he, he did the spell, like... There should be one more time, god dang it. One more spell, come on. Oh my god. Look at the spellcaster charge. It's just... It's a bitty little way from the top. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, he's having an overload. This might be, might be the end of him already. Yeah, he's already dying. Bro, oh, and just like that, he is dead. <laughs> he is out for the count. One, two, three. He is gone. He is donezo. <laughs> um, and again, very simple. It's a really simple death. Um... It's not as simple as the vampire's death, because, I mean, literally all you do is have your vampire sim go outside during daylight, um, and during sunny weather, and that's it. Like, you just have them stand out there, and eventually they just die. Spellcasters, it requires you to do more work, and it requires you just to cast a billion spells. Um, and I think you can see the consequences of casting a billion spells. Um... It equals death. <laughs> it just straight it just straight up equals death. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. That was my guide to spellcaster overload. Again, like the first time they overload, you're always gonna survive. So it's like a pat on the wrist. It's a warning. But for the next time, it ain't no warning, son. You're gonna be gone. <laughs> you are gonna be dead the next time. But I really do hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.